Alright, so a few months ago, when I used to turn my steering wheel in my BMW, this is a 2011 535i F10 series BMW. When I used to turn the steering wheel, you would hear a clicking noise sometimes. And then uh, recently, Stop. when I start the car, you can see. To say to her mom today, she's. I have a. Uh, airbag fault on see that driver restraint system malfunction and that happened the other day and everything on my steering wheel does not work the cruise control does not work the horn when you push it does not work the paddles for transmission to go up and down do not work my voice recognition does not work not, none of these buttons work so I'm going to show you how to fix that on a 2011 F10 series BMW. This tutorial is for F10 series BMW and you can see here it's from 2010 to 2017 so if you got a F10, F11, F07, F18 it's a sixth generation of BMW and this should work for uh, removing the steering wheel and figuring out the problem to this issue. All right, first thing we're gonna do is pop the trunk, open up this little compartment, get a 10 millimeter on a ratchet, and undo these bolts here to get to the battery. You wanna disconnect the battery, that way the airbag doesn't deploy on us on accident when we start taking the airbag and the horn and all that stuff off the car. Pull out the carpet, and then you can get to the bolt here for the negative ground, it's a 10 millimeter as well. Loosen that up and then disconnect it. Okay, next you're gonna see there's a little hole under this steering wheel right here. Okay, and you're gonna put a screwdriver that's kind of skinny widthwise. Don't get too too fat of a screwdriver. And then push it up, and there's a little spring inside. There we go. cables and then this piece comes up and if you can hear in the airbag when I turn it you can kind of hear something hear that jiggling I'm not sure if that's what I was hearing when I was turning the steering wheel but it sure does rattle Okay, and you can see when I put the screwdriver up from that hole, what it was doing was pushing up this little rod here, causing those springs to collapse. See that? Right here and here. All right, next step, take a 15 millimeter and loosen up this nut. Pretty easy. I didn't even use a breaker bar, just a regular little ratchet. Okay. And once you break the nut loose, it comes off easy with the, with the hand. My tires are fairly straight on the car. Okay. And you can see there's a notch in there, right here. And remember to take this out and put it on the same way you take it off. Uh, the notch is here on the spindle here. And you can kind of see like there's a little notch here as well on the steering wheel. And then just pull it right off. And I'm assuming the problem is somewhere in this piece here. Next, use a plastic tool and kind of pry up the top here. Okay, I didn't 
I have a plastic tube, but I just used this. What I did is I put it in here, that way I didn't scrape anything on the outside and pushed up. But a plastic tool is probably recommended so you don't scrape it up. In the bottom, I just kind of pried it. There's a little tab here. Kind of pushed this one in a little bit here, and there's one on the other side. And then I just kind of pulled it down, and it comes right, right down. And you can see the tilt thing is connected to that, the controls to the tilt. And that gives you full access to the four bolts that are holding on all these other parts. Next, I'm um, unbolting these four T25 screws. And I'm using, you know, one of these because I can't find my uh, ratcheting set. So this works fine, though. All right, four, four screws are ticking out, and then this thing should pop right out. Which it does, and you can see it's got three screw, uh, three wires. Sorry, and then this disconnects. All right, that's fairly easy to remove. Okay, so I'm looking at the slip ring, which is this plastic thing on top and I'm seeing there's little plastic clips all the way around it I think if you get a screwdriver in there and that'll come right out and we can see if it's how it looks in there all right so I'll take my screwdriver in here pry at this little clip here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Alright guys, so there's five clips on here on the outside that you have to unclip all the way around and there's two right here that you have to get from this side from the bottom side and then you got some inside here three clips in here that you have to get from inside the hole from the bottom going up and once you got the three clips in the middle this thing will pop off so there's the first part okay and then there's the other piece of plastic got grease in it too all right and then there's your uh, wiring looms inspect it for any damages broken cables or whatever all right guys found the problem so here there should be a, a ribbon co connector on these two ports and what I see back here is there's a spool here and look there's a connector right here on nothing so that's what broke off and there should be one more somewhere in here yep there's another one that's totally broken here see the broken cable so that's why all my all my uh, connections were not working the ribbons are broken alright and I just pulled this out of there and you can see that's where it connects and um, you might be able to solder them together, but um, this one, the cable is really broken, so I'm not even going to mess with it. I'm just going to get a new ribbon or a new unit. Alright, I took the little plastic piece off of the top there to see how the ribbon was on, and it's actually gold plated or copper, um, and it's soldered to the connection. So that's going to be quite difficult to try to repair because of the sensitivity of how it's on there. So I'm just going to try and locate a, a new one of these, or a used one. Or if I can find the ribbons, maybe I can replace the ribbons inside. But it looks kind of complicated, so you'd want to get it, the ribbons to sit in there correctly. So it'd probably be better for me just to find this unit, which I found one on eBay for about $190 for the whole unit. From a four cylinder, I don't think it's going to matter though because um, I think these are all interchangeable. But yeah, 
that's that's what's wrong with it ripped cables all right just called the BMW dealer and this part is 2200 or 2300 bucks which is ridiculous okay it's only seven years old it's already broken um, what I did is went on eBay found one that had the VIN on there told you the VIN and I called the BMW guy and I gave him the last uh, numbers of the last I think seven digits of the VIN and he was able to tell me the one I bought on eBay was equivalent to the model number that I need for this car so there was another one for cheaper I think it was $195 shipped there was another one for a hundred bucks but it had prongs here which this one doesn't have for some other accessories it probably would have worked but no guarantee on that so I just stuck with the one that had the VIN and the other one didn't have the VIN so I can't even check it to see if it was compatible so a hundred bucks more but at least I know it's gonna work and I don't like to take chances you know the other one's a hundred bucks cheaper but again it, it because it had an extra cable in there it might not have worked so saving two thousand dollars on a used one and is guaranteed to work uh, I'll take that any day uh, it's gonna take a couple weeks to get it so I'll just put this all back together the way it was and you can still drive your car without the cables connected you just won't have your airbag working you won't have uh, any of your steering wheel controls working this still had these uh, turn signal levers still worked and the windshield wipers still worked on this one so I think it's because it's got a different cable going here to those so it had nothing really to do with the cables in here this runs all of the steering wheel functions so put it back together and when it comes in I'll swap it out but that's that's it for this video I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it I hope it helps you guys out for anyone that has the same issues I went on YouTube and couldn't find any videos for this particular uh, F10 BMW uh, there's oh, the older BMW's videos on there but nothing for the F10 so I guess this hasn't happened to too many people yet fairly new car but yeah follow the steps that I did and you'll see what's wrong with yours all right all right just for the heck of it I uh, used my FX 888 uh, Heiko soldering iron to solder these joints back on I what I did was cut it and then uh, yeah I just soldered it on and put the little plastic clip on here and I did my best on both both of these these were completely off and so we'll see if it works J just for the time being until I get the new one in or the new used one in um, I have a problem with the spool I don't really know how this works so I just kinda did the best I could and I kinda checked it to see if it could spin and not the easiest thing in the world to do I don't really know how it was meant to be so I just did my best on that <clears throat> and we'll, we'll see if it works oh. Oh. alright I got this installed all back together and hopefully it works if not it's okay I got a new one on order but it's gonna take a couple weeks I want to be able to drive my car pick up the kids from school so I'm gonna install this and see what happens all right <clears throat> put everything back together steering wheel back on everything's connected battery negative terminals put back on and now we're gonna try to start it Okay, still says the drape driver restraint system error. Yeah, I think you have to reset that with the computer. But uh, let's see if these gauges work. Let's try radio. All right, volume works up and down. Let's go to mode. Mode works. Scrolling thing works. Phone not available. Voice recognition's working. Let's see if the horn works. Horn works. And cruise control is working. So my soldering fixed it, guys. Um, didn't cost me anything but a little bit of solder. So 
but does the steering wheel turn? Let's go left. Okay, let's go right. Up. Oh, it's turning fine. I don't hear any noises. All right. So I think I, you know, I spent 200 bucks on the other, the newer, one, the used one. But I think I fixed my problem already. So maybe I'll just keep that one as a spare until this one craps out on me. Easy fix. Uh, BMW wanted $2,000 for, for the part, which is crazy. So. All I gotta do now is reset the um, the airbag sensors with the computer diagnostic tool. And I think I'm good to go. Let's see if these work. These work. None of this was working before, guys. So problem solved. All right, this is Jacob. Catch you guys later.